it depends on uh, mostly on when a moor uh, gets up and running, and not just when they when they get up and running, but it depends a lot on whether the helium from Russia is going to be able to get to market. Uh, the uh, logistics are going to be extremely difficult. Uh, there are some uh, questions about container availability uh, and uh, you know whether uh, con uh, certain containers are going to be allowed to go to Russia. To uh, to bring helium out of Russia, uh, you know, even if a more starts up, there's a possibility that the uh, flow of Russian helium uh, to uh, to market is going to be severely restricted. So, uh, you know, the scenarios are, you know, uh, I guess in your most optimistic scenario, you could see uh, a contribution from Russian helium in the second half of this year that would help the shortage subside. And I think someone already mentioned that there's a, a possibility that if the Russian helium doesn't come to market, the shortage could extend, uh, you know, through 2024 and even into 2025. And, and the reason for that is that, you know, if if if, if there's uh, problems with getting the container enough containers, uh, that's going to be a real problem because, for instance, a, a Chinese company or an Indian company or a Korean company. Who wants to step in for uh, Western uh, the major helium majors who might not be able to uh, bring the helium out of Russia? Uh, well, these other uh, companies in these other countries would need to buy uh, many containers, and the lead time to buy new containers is roughly roughly two years. So you know, it, from the time somebody says I want to buy a tank till the time they have a tank, it's a pretty long uh, runway there. So there's there's no quick fix uh, where, let's say you know uh, non-sanctioning companies from non-sanctioning countries could just step in and and bring all the helium to market. It it won't work that way, and uh, you know there's still the risk of of additional sanctions uh, being placed on helium. Right now there are no direct sanctions on the export of helium from Russia. So, so I guess you know, you know one other thing I'd say. So if if there's any takeaway from what I just said, the takeaway, the key word is uncertainty. Okay, nobody knows right now when the shortage is going to end uh, because the there's too many unknowns about mainly about Amur and uh, the flow of Russian helium to market.